And welcome back, everybody. We're catching up with Josh Dobbs. We wouldn't let him leave. Has to stick around for another block. Every time he comes to town, we, we make him co-anchor, and he does a great job with that, and we really appreciate it. You've had a lot of exciting trips. We were just talking about a very special one, though. You volunteered to go on an honor air flight. Now, this honors the veterans uh, in D.C., takes them to D.C. to see the memorials built in their honor. Why did you want to do this, and, and tell me what that trip was like for you? Well, one, I wanted to honor the veterans and their sacrifice that they've given to represent our country and fight for our freedoms. And I thought um, it would just be an honor to see Washington, D.C. through their eyes. I've made several trips to Washington, D.C., but um, it's different when you go you know, up to Washington, D.C., and you see the Air Force Memorial with people who fought in the Air Force. And you see the Vietnam Memorial with people that have gone to Vietnam, have seen and didn't come back with some of their friends or are looking for their friends, family members on the murals. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a different respect of what they've gone through, the sacrifices that they've gone, gone through. And I know that I wouldn't be simply playing the game of football yeah. if it wasn't for the people that fight for our freedoms on a day-to-day -day -day basis. Okay, I know I get emotional just watching the video. What was that like for you? get a little teary-eyed at moments. I mean, you can't help but see the seriousness of this and the impact on the veterans. Definitely. I think, um, obviously, the memorials um, were, were outstanding, phenomenal, and to take it all in with them was special. But I think the best experience of the day was when we actually came back to Knoxville. And to see how the veterans were received by the Knoxville community was amazing. Um, when you walk out the terminal and you're heading down the baggage claim, there was almost a thousand people Jeez. in the terminal to welcome the veterans back. It literally took an hour or maybe longer <laughs> to walk from the end of security to get to the baggage claim. So just to see all the pouring support, the people yeah. welcoming me back. Um, I had one guy who fought in Vietnam and his family said, you know, when, when he came back, he wasn't well received. No by the country. So for him to take the on-air flight and come back and, and receive the w warm welcome that he deserved, I know it meant a lot to them and it definitely put a lot of things into perspective for yeah. me. Finally getting the homecoming that they deserve for sure. Um, let's talk about your fans. People still love you. Tennessee Vols, do you hear from them a lot on social media? <laughs> definitely, always supportive. Um, definitely when you're in the Knoxville area, you still walk around, you still feel the love. Um, you walk through Market Square, you even simply just walk through the airport and you get the, the casual go Vols. So um, Tennessee Volunteer fans, as we know, are everywhere mm -hmm. and are the best fan base in the country. So they're, they're still amazing. And you're everywhere. You give your time to so many nonprofits. This was an event you did with Girls Inc. at the movie theater. Um, you have something else you're doing this afternoon. Uh, talk about that effort. So this afternoon, we have a shopping spree at Dick's Sporting Goods for several campers who will be in camp tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, whether it's getting some cleats for tomorrow, getting a football to throw around at the house, or just getting an outfit to wear around, you know, it's um, all covered through Dick's Sporting Goods. So I'm thankful to have them as a sponsor for this camp. And I think um, it's very humbling. Um, for me, I started playing football when I was five, and you know, I had the cleats, I had the whole gear set. But for a lot of kids that don't play football, that play football, mm -hmm. you know, um, they're not well equipped for the game. So to be able to provide them with the opportunity to get the gear, equipment that they need mm -hmm. to actually go out in the field and be successful, um, I'm honored to be in the position I am. So and I know the kids always take it in. A couple of them were actually texting and Snapchatting me earlier, <gasps> just asking what they should get, what size they should look for. I love for. it. So and you I'm respond. I respond. He yeah. always does. Always uh, on respond. social media, he always responds. I'll say that about you for sure. Well, thank you so much. Please come back anytime you're in the Knoxville area. We look forward to seeing you play this season. Awesome. I'll be back and I'll bring my keyboard next time. I hope so.